Hi, this is Gary DeBach in Puyallup, Washington, USA, and I'm going to be giving a demonstration of a full-sized six and a half foot long wave PVC tuned passive loop. This model has 23 turns of number 18 stranded wire arranged around a PVC water pipe frame. The total weight of the antenna is about 15 pounds and the cost of construction is around $150. Uh, in order to demonstrate the effectiveness of this antenna, I'm going to be using a barefoot Sony ICF 2010 model, which will be receiving the target station, a Canadian Daytime DX beacon, 251YCD. 251YCD is a Canadian aeronautical beacon about 160 miles to the north of here in Nanaimo, British Columbia. So the first step is to remove the Sony ICF-2010 from the inductive coupling range of the antenna and check out the barefoot signal that I get. I have the radio tuned in to 251, but my signal is not strong. What I have right now on the barefoot model is uh, a weak to moderate signal with no LED indication except uh, the very first LED flashing on and off. So I'm going to be taking the radio over to the loop and we'll see the difference that the six and a half foot long wave loop makes in the signal. So as you can see, I have uh, all 10 LEDs lit up currently. When I receive the inductive coupling boost from the long wave tuned passive loop, the signal from YCD becomes almost up to the overload level. I currently have about a six inch inductive coupling distance from the 2010, and I'm going to be changing the tuning of the loop to show what happens when I tune away from the resonant frequency. So as you can see I've completely lost the signal. I have no LED indication at all. I'll be tuning it in again by ear from the PVC loop tuning control. I think I've got it just from the audio response. So you can see I came pretty close. I've got nine LEDs currently, but uh, if I tune it in to optimum level, I'll get 10. So just one more time, I'll take the radio away from the loop and you'll see what happens to the signal of 251YCD. Well, back down to the noise level and no LEDs now. Just above the noise level, so Hope this has been interesting for you, and for anyone interested, I do have construction plans for this antenna. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.